Last week, we looked at how anxiety, when it's at its worst, can immobilise us and the freeze response takes over, affecting how we feel and imbalancing our nervous system too. We use the analogy of the rabbit, which is one of the best creatures we know who uses the freeze response to stay alive and how we just can't shake the bunny awake. At this point, our nervous system is in shutdown and is far too afraid to take action for the fear of dying. You might think that last statement is a bit dramatic, but this isn't the case. Our nervous system is so powerful and is directly connected to our unconscious and primeval minds. The feelings it sends to our bodies and minds are so strong and overwhelming, at times we can literally feel paralysed by them. So if we can't shake the bunny awake, what can we use as a carrot to entice them out of this frozen state? We know in nature that leaving the bunny alone will be the only way to change this state of immobilisation. As with time, it will sense the danger is gone and bounce back to life. We can do this too with people frozen in fear. But for many of us, wanting to help our loved ones and ourselves, we just don't want to wait till our nervous system feels safe again. The best way to help us feel safe and allow our nervous system to reset is to do the things that we would be doing if we were in a safe, happy place. When our nervous system is balanced and at peace. This, of course, can be different for all of us. As when we're in a frozen state, it can be hard to reach these things. But let's look at ways that can start this process of resetting ourselves. One of the easiest things we can do ourselves is to use our breathing to change the nervous system from fear to relaxed. With breathing, it's more about breathing out and sighing the tension away. A lot of the time when we're anxious, we're holding tension in our torso. Try breathing in for the count of one and breathing out for the count of two. The longer breath out is a great way to start relaxing our breath. You can sigh or even yawn. This will help release the tension, which in turn will make you feel more relaxed. The next things we can do to shift the fear can be to use different sounds calming music, classical music, gongs, bells, calming voices, even laughter can calm our nervous system. Again, this is a personal thing. When you're in a good place, try out the different sounds, voices and music that relax you. People who have had sessions with me will automatically find my voice calming, so the blogs and audio recordings will definitely help relax you. You can make a pact with your family. They can talk to you, put on your chosen music and sounds, helping them to be the carrot that draws you out of this immobilised state. Once we start to relax and move from the immobilised frozen state, the positive changes can then be encouraged by moving. Things like Tai Chi, yoga, Pilates, stretching and bending. Any type of movement will help to calm our nervous system. Adding in the great outdoors and nature if you can will just enhance the relaxing properties of gentle movement. Heading out to walk the dog, walk with friends and family or just some time on your own will help you relax and reset your nervous system. If you have someone you know who gets immobilised in fear, be the one to dangle the carrot. Don't feel that people trapped in this state don't want to change. They do desperately want to. 
But what they need to find is a way out from the fear state into a safe direction, something to draw them into. Send them nice voice messages, set up regular walking and movement times will help them develop better habits. Another thing that can help us move from the immobilised state is being creative. Any form of art can help us move to a safer place, whether it be painting, sculpture, drawing or colouring. Doing things that can transport us out of our heads and into the experience will bring about the shifts we need to relax. Helping entice ourselves and the people we know struggling with their anxiety to come out of the fear state into safety. Within all of this, we have to find what works for us and things which entice us to come back into a safe place within ourselves. Understanding this is the key. Once you understand it, this can help you create the carrot you need to entice us out of fear and into safety which will shift deeply within our minds and bodies, plus causing that important part of our nervous system to change too. Over time, we can then set up new pathways in our brains, which help us form new patterns and habits, which become the new automatic state of our normal sides of ourselves and our nervous system. Changing takes time and it's important to be persistent with this process. Don't give up if the carrot doesn't work one day. It's so important to stand back and see the bigger picture. We need the change to establish and set a new example to our minds and ourselves and our belief systems to help us build the confidence within us to know that we don't need to live in the immobilised fear state anymore. If we can look back after a month of persistent enticement to change from fear to calm, you will see there has been a shift. Then it's time to set the bar higher and move into the next month of change. Over time, we can then look back and see what has helped us achieve this and the things we've used to entice ourselves to change from the fear state. Time is precious. Don't waste a drop of it. Start changing today. Thanks for dropping by.